Hello Libra, welcome back to the Lynx Tarot. This is Monica and this reading is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your money and career reading for the rest of March through April or the next 30 days. These are all timeless readings, so whatever works for you. We're jumping right in here with the Wisdom of Tao. Upside down there. Okay, you got space clearance. Yeah, very important. The appearance of this card is a serious sign that space clearance and negative energy removal are needed immediately. Environmental or personal space or both could be affected. Attend to needed cleansing to bring in positive, fresh energy. So this could be in your home or your office or both. Sorry about the focus. So space clearance is very important here. Um, it will help you to feel more organized and become more organized. And also emotionally, you're going to feel a lot better and less scattered. Someone else got that too, but I can't remember what sign. All right, so let's jump over here to the energy and spirit oracle. Let's see what else we have for Libra. So this is for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So check your other signs as well. There could be additional messages for you. All right, Libra. What do we have? Let's see, soul, soulful appreciation. And number 30, if you like numerology, 30 and three, heartfelt gratitude. So you're coming into this place of feeling grateful and serene for certain things in your life that just feel good. You're like um, creature comforts. Okay, we'll go deeper too, of course. Okay, and we have Archangel Fanuel and 20 or two. Hope, optimism, and new beginnings. Very nice. So there's some new beginnings here for you. And I feel like you're content with other things too. Like you want some new beginnings, but you're really content with where you're grounded. This could be your home or your property, um, maybe your town like if you're someone who likes to be outside maybe there are some nice outdoor places where you live you have a lot of contentment in that area of your life it makes you feel very serene and these new beginnings um these new beginnings are really something that also makes you feel like i don't know like you want to smile um it's excitement but it's also um it's like very, I keep wanting to say serene, this very peaceful, serene feeling. Okay, and we have journey guide. You're on a new journey. Number 22, awesome. Travel and change in location. Yeah, so some of you may be moving to a new lo location where you feel this way and therefore are more productive. Some of you are getting organized, organized and doing that space clearing because you're moving. So clear up your stuff now don't move your scattered junk into a new place, okay? So my point is now's an opportunity. So for those of you moving, now is the opportunity to go through your stuff, donate stuff you don't need, throw away the junk that isn't of use to anybody because you know we all have it at times, and organize the stuff that you're moving into your new home or new office so that you already know where it goes and you're just not moving you know, scattered stuff for, you know that you've thrown in a box from one place to another and um, this is going to make you feel really good and will be really good for you on this fresh start that you're having here so tr it could be travel um as far as vacation for some of you you might be visiting family or just traveling with a friend or on your own it could be anything really but this is going to really benefit you in some way and you you might find that you want to live where you are visiting Okay, something is just really making you feel peaceful and like, yes, this is home. Okay, and there's a big new beginning. I really like that. Okay, so let's go over here to the tarot. This is the Gilded Tarot. Let's see what else we have for Libra. Libra, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do and hit all notifications. I'd greatly appreciate that. Okay. What do we have for Libra? Soulful appreciation is being clarified by the Queen of Swords. So this is air energy, you're an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, so you could be dealing with another air sign. Not necessarily, but I feel like this is the energy of really having mental clarity and focus. Um, this could represent you. If it represents someone else, this person is helping you to see something really important right now that's going to help you make this decision. 
Um, it could be a female person, not necessarily. It could be someone who has strong feminine qualities, okay? It doesn't matter um, gender, it doesn't matter. It just could be someone who has strong feminine qualities. They're like nurturing, um, but at the same time, they're very clear. They're very clear, like the Queen of Swords cuts to the truth. So I feel like there's nurturing energy coming from this person too. But at the same time, they're like, look, look, honey, this is, this is what's going on here. You know, you don't look very happy doing this, but you might be happy over here doing this. Or maybe this relationship isn't very good for you. Maybe it's time to let that go. So I feel like you might be getting this advice from someone else, and it could be another air sign, but it doesn't have to be. If this is representing you, I feel like you are noticing very clearly what means most to you and what is just, um, you know, chaos that you don't want to deal with and you're keeping to yourself a little bit more than usual you're stepping aside and some of your some of your space clearance has to do with stepping aside from the drama of other people you're just like i don't want to be involved in this and you just you know do your own thing make your own plan and i'm going to show you this again journey guide this is just really exciting to me this is a big you know a big move a big change in some way Okay, let's go on here. So hope, optimism, and new beginnings. Wow, here we go, the Eight of Wands. So again, movement. This could be travel. This could be, um, you know, moving location, you know, office or home. This could have to do with love too, communication, having to do with love or a potential love partner, someone you're interested in. Uh, for those of you applying for jobs, lots, lots of communication going back and forth, lots of offers, okay? So you're in a position of negotiation here. Lots of hope for new beginnings. You're going to have different choices. It's going to be up to you. I like that. And um, I think it's something, like I said, you're going to be excited about, but really peaceful too. It's hard to explain. Like, like your excitement isn't scattered all over the place. This is something that really makes you smile and gives you grounded energy, not that kind of energy where you're all over the place. All right, so travel and change in location is being clarified by the King of Cups. So again, this excitement is like a calm kind of excitement. The King of Cups is emotionally calm. This could also represent a counselor, a coach, consultant, um, someone who lends you an ear. This could be someone who's maybe not older than you, but it feels like they are because they're a little bit wiser in a certain area than you are, and they give you comfort and guidance. Okay, so let's clarify with another row. Okay. You might be traveling with a person that fits those qualities. A water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, so the Queen of Swords and the Three of Cups. Yep, so this is a celebration. The Queen of Swords energy might be saying, hey, Three's a crowd in a certain situation, okay? There's a little bit of chaos here. For others of you, this could be that celebration where you're like, all right, I'm ready to make this change. You're being welcomed into a new group, um, a new workplace, a new company, new office, or something like that. Okay, so there's some different messages coming in here. I think someone is um, like leaving a certain workplace like where you work, obviously, but they're leaving, they're leaving the workplace, not you, somebody else. And um, there's a decision made about this. And it provides a lot more peace in the workplace. And you're like very grateful for that. So whether you're staying here or moving on, you're going to be really grateful for the peace during the interim. Okay, so hope, optimism, new beginnings, eight of wands is being clarified by the four of wands. Yeah, so there could be some love here for you with the eight of wands. This could be those arrows of love because with the four of wands, that can indicate marriage, commitment, the next level in a relationship. In business, this could be a new commitment, okay, a new commitment. You could be working for a family business. It might not be your family, actually, like your own family, but you might be this new person starting a new job with a family business and they just kind of take you into the fold and you feel like you're one of them. So it's still business, like this this family owned business, they know how to separate family and business as, as best as anyone can. 
but they're very loyal and dedicated to one another, Libra. And I feel like this is going to be refreshing for you and they're going to welcome you with open arms. So it, it's still business. It's like something to keep in mind. It's still business, um, but you're going to be well cared for. Oh, I like that. And you could be welcoming someone into your business. So if this is like your, your business, you've been needing help, assistance with your business, and it's been hard to find someone, maybe you're interviewing people and this person just really is a good fit and it's much needed and you learn you learn to trust someone else to help you out. So you don't have to do it all because um, you've gotten to a point where you're successful enough that you need some assistance and you can afford to pay somebody else. It's just a matter of knowing who to trust and um, you know someone who has the skills and abilities and the personality to, to get along with. All right, travel and change in location with the King of Cups is being clarified by the Five of Pentacles. So this kind of clarifies what I was just saying. Maybe you felt like shut out for a while um, of like having the right assistance, or uh, maybe you could have made more money if you were able to hire someone to help your business to progress. So ask, reach out, uh, start interviewing people. If this is you interviewing for jobs or you feeling like you're shut out from like, you know, money, making enough money, it's time to put out some job applications. You're not shut out. There's opportunities here. This is a pentacle card, so keep that in mind. So this is about a feeling of lack, but there really isn't lack. There is assistance. And for some of you, um, this person here, the King of Cups is someone who can help you with some kind of aid. You just have to ask for it. There's some. There's someone here to help you. You just have to ask for it. So you could be applying for a loan, a job, some kind of um, housing assistance, okay? That's for someone, not, not everyone, but just take what resonates. My point in this message is that there is help and there is someone kind. So sometimes when we're left to our own thoughts, our own devices, we can get carried away and think no one will help me, no one cares, people are going to be mean. But that's not the case here. There's someone who can help you out. That's what they're there for. Now, how this has to do with travel and change in location, I'm not sure yet. This could be a new job that might require you to move. Or for others of you, once you move, some of you, I think, are going to be traveling and you're going to be like, I could live here. And you might not be traveling far. You might just take a different road. And you might be like, wow, I didn't know that this like, beautiful neighborhood was right here. And you might say, hey, I could live here. And then for some reason, even though you're not that far away, it changes your perspective and you somehow find a new job. It just, it totally turns your perspective all around and you find this new job. It could be like a medical office that you didn't know was there. And um, you know you work in that field and you walk in. And normally that doesn't work that way. Like normally nowadays, like you don't really like walk into a practice or an office and say, hey, are you hiring? I guess unless it's like, you know, a store or like a, a grocery store or a little like, you know, a smaller, smaller store like that. But um, I could see that happening for some reason, Libra. I could see you you know, out and about in a slightly different place, but not really too far from where you live or work. And you're like, hey, what's this? Oh, wow, this is really cool. Are you hiring? Years ago, um, the same thing happened to me that I just described, actually. It just popped into my head. I was at the library with my daughter when she was really little, and um, I've always loved children's books. I love to write. I was reading a lot to her, and, you know, she was reading on her own, too. So it was a fun age. And I just asked while I was there if they were hiring, and they were, and I got the job. So it could be a scenario like that where it just feels right and it's really good for you. All right, so let's jump over to the tea leaf fortune cards. And don't forget that space clearance, Libra. It's really important to just, you know, go through those papers, you know, that pile of papers. I always say oftentimes, that pile of papers isn't as bad as it looks because a lot of it sometimes is junk mail and it makes it all look worse. That stuff can just literally be thrown away. And then that pile is so much smaller and it's not as scary to attack it. We have Weeping Willow. <clears throat> now don't be scared of this. It says family sorrow. If anyone who if anyone has been grieving, this is something you already know about. 
This is spirit just acknowledging that, okay? Um, being that it's here in this row with the Three of Cups and the Queen of Swords, um, I feel like that that person that may be let go, um, it's going to, that that's the thing that was bothering you. And when that person is like removed from the equation by not being in the workplace anymore, um, you're not going to feel so woe is me, you know, if only this, if only that, you know, my, my job would be fine. And you're going to realize that you want to move on anyway. It's not really about trying to get away from this person in the workplace that you don't like or who gives you a hard time or whatever it is. Once they're gone, once they're out of the equation, you're going to be like, yes, this is a relief while I'm still here. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that, but I'm still ready to move on to something else. And you're able to leave more peacefully. All right. We have dark woman, dealings or relationship with a woman of dark complexion or hair. All right. So that could fit the description of this person, whether it's male or female. And we have star, guaranteed success. So whatever your plans are, no one's going to take that away from you. You are guaranteed success and you are going to be the star. I think you already do stand out and maybe, maybe that's why that person gave you a hard time. But that's going to be in the past. All right, or it is already. I dropped a card. Bear with me a minute. Got it. All right. <laughs> Wind chimes. Oh, here we go. Peace and harmony. I love this because I was talking about that a lot in the beginning. I kept saying, I, I see you being very serene, right, Libra? So that validates that peace and harmony. And we have Tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. So here's your new beginning. And teapot deep friendship with someone of the same sex. I don't really think that matters. I think that you are developing a new friendship or a stronger bond with your current partner, your current romantic partner, or maybe you're taking things to the next level, okay? You're like, this person is my best friend. I wanna be with them for the rest of my life. Okay, just take what resonates, okay? Not every message will be for everyone. All right, whoa. We have the lion, time to act, yep. It's time to make a decision, put out those resumes, take a drive, um, do a little exploring. Another pop out here of teardrops. Okay, great personal sorrow. So again, spirit is just acknowledging some of you may have been going through some grieving and they're saying, we're here, you know, we love you. We're here to guide you, reach out to us. Okay, let's get one more. And we have grasshopper situations in the balance that require careful handling. Yeah, so it's time to be precise, going through your things, organizing things, um, job applications, whatever you're doing, just be very precise. Um, organize things so you don't get scattered. And then if you're not scattered, you're not likely to miss opportunities. So you may apply for some jobs and if you're not organized about it, you might, you know, lose track of like who you've already applied with or, you know, who you're talking to. Cause that's happened to me, not with a job thing, but with something else. I, just, I had a list of different places I needed to call and I started to lose track because um, I didn't stick to my list. And uh, then I, you know, I don't remember what happened. Everything was fine, but I got kind of confused for a minute there. And I didn't want to just start, you know, recalling places that I've already already spoken to. All right, so this is the Money and Career Oracle. We have mistakes. So a past mistake that may have left you financially unsure what to do. Your current financial situation was your own doing, and it's time to accept responsibility. It's just this message is strongly about just learning from your past mistakes, but don't be afraid to move on. Um, don't be afraid to ask for this assistance here, okay? You might have made a mistake somewhere, or maybe you got overdrawn. Don't be hard on yourself. Call the bank. If this is the first time it happened, maybe they can waive that fee, okay? So you're not in the hole even further. So never hesitate to ask. And we have entertainers, so some of you may be entertainers or artists, so this is encouraging you to go for it if this is you. Um, there's a talent that you might be able to turn into money. Okay, let's get another one from here. 
this comes out all the time, real estate, but this means a couple things to me. So let me look at the card and I'll tell you what else it means to me. Okay, it says build a solid foundation prior to building several stories above it. So that makes sense no matter what you do, whether it's real estate or not. Um, this could be interior design, architecture, any home business. It says it's time to get back to basics to strengthen your finances. So that makes sense, like get back to space clearance, keeping things simple. Um, also, this could be, you know, about being comfortable in your home. And if you're not currently, it's time to search, you know, seek out where you do feel comfortable and at home. Okay, so I, I do get different messages with that. It's not all about real estate. For, for someone listening, it very well could be. But you know what? I'm feeling strongly that some of you is an interior designer or something like that. Um, you might work with a real estate agent or a real estate company, but you help, what's that called? I can't think of the word, but you help like stage these houses. Maybe that's it. Okay, so you have this real creative eye and you're very valuable to this company. All right, Libra, thanks so much for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again soon.